What is going on, YouTube? Stealth Penguin Gamer Girl here, and like I said in the last episode, we're saving what's his dick up here for the next episode. Wait, if I can find the faggot, Jesus, where'd he go? At this point, I'm not so much looking, I'm just sort of like, well, what's the shit that we got over here? I mean, I don't know where he is. I mean, he has a general idea of where I am, but ooh, money. See, that's what that's the thing. It's like you all of a sudden find a stash of caps in there, and all of a sudden it's just like it's a happy day. Medex, take that shit, because you faggots don't need it. Come here. I wish to shoot your genitals off. Oh, hi! Repossess your face. That's just as good. Ah. Up, oh, up. Oh. I got you. I got you, girl. What you gonna do? Don't even know. Give me that assault rifle. Let's see if I can actually fix mine. Damn it. Every goddamn time. <laughs> Every goddamn time. Yeah, I'll fix my assault rifle and then. Man, I can hear you and I am not afraid of you. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm not afraid of you. You know, I'm more afraid of her because she actually has a gun. I mean, like, I could outrun Mr. Knife Man over here. What are you doing sitting the fuck down? Girl, get out of here. Well, now nah, he died. I, I wanted to kill him last. But, you know, whatever. Whatever works. How the fuck did I miss that? Would you just fucking die, you bitch? Yeah. 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 Huh. <sighs> But he just wants to shoot me in the goddamn asshole today. I did not want to take that. I wanted to take the squirrel bits. Fuck this guy's armor. Now he's naked. Now he's naked. Hold on a second. Let me just... <laughs> this is just too fun. They should not have allowed you to do this in, this, in games like this. Oh my god. Okay, um... Where so let's let's take Mr. Underpants with us. He's dead, but hey, he's he could still be a companion. He could still be a companion. No, yeah, let's just let's just go. <laughs> let's just go. Going on an adventure with a dead guy. Yeah. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Mr. Underpants. Mr. Underpants. He, he, he won't be as cool as Paul the Pencil, though. I should go and check up on Paul the Pencil. Just because he's fucking Paul the Pencil. Because how awesome does that sound, fucking Paul the Pencil? Next time I get a brand new pencil, I'm going to name it Paul. I don't care if it's pink. I'm going to name that bitch Paul. Okay, I should... Do I have to go the other way? My god, Mr. Underpants, I think we made a wrong turn. Every time I open this, it just gets higher and higher. It's making me nervous. Okay, so I guess I passed this? Maybe? Come on, Mr. Underpants. Oh, right there, I think. Tell <laughs> me this comes up search writer. His name is Mr. Underpants. You don't know anything about anything. <laughs> um, random generators. This, uh, nope. This doesn't go anywhere. Well, fuck you, Mr. Underpants. Can I blow this shit up? Can I blow this up? Can I blow anything up here? Yeah! I hurt myself, but I don't care. See, every time, it just fucking gets a little bit higher. I mean, at least it wasn't as bad as the one time that it glitched out. This I can actually work with, because I can, you know. You can see most of it just cuts off a bit of the top. Which isn't terrible, but hey. Whatever. Now, let's see. I do believe I am fucking lost. Okay, so up this way. There should be one. There not, there is... I don't fucking know. Could it be up there? It's probably up there. 
and I'm probably a dumb bitch, and I, you know, dragged around a naked man for absolutely no reason. But, you know, hey, uh, good, good times, right? I think so. Yeah, this is the way I was supposed to go. <laughs> yeah, I'll take one soda. Yeah, sodas are awesome. Yup. Okay, well, I think we're... I think we, uh, just so happened to have found Rivet City. U.S. Army. Andy Flamethrower. Can't read the other word. Oh, I'm sorry, Kitty. I forgot to pet you on the loading screen. It's it's fair. It's fair. At this point, it's like I pet him for just a second, and he's starting to give me these looks. Like, what the fuck did you touch me for? <laughs> I can't moody. You know what's something I can't wait for? Those Talon Corp assholes. They're gonna show up. They are. I I, I will never forget the most clusterfuck of a thing that they did to me, is I had just enslaved Flack up in Rivet City, which is obviously here, and so the Rivet City guards were, like, pissed at me, and so I was fleeing, and then all of a sudden they found me at the fucking subway. I was just about to, you know, go in there and know I would be safe. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm such an ass. Uh, well, anyway, so I went, that subway that we just came out of, yeah, I was heading towards that, and, yeah, they just, they caught me, and I finally killed all of them, took me a hell of a long time, but I finally did it, and then I still kept getting shot, and I was like, what the fuck, and then there was, like, this little rivet city bitch that was just like, like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, gonna shoot you too, because, yeah, and stuff, so... I'm a daredevil. I didn't wait for the bridge to stop moving. Don't care, don't care, I'm a badass. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. I'm seriously just going to face. <laughs> okay, I'm um, looking for my father. And who might your father be? If he lives on this boat, I know. Ooh, I'm so afraid of you, Mr. Harkness. Mr. Harkness with his fucking... Trying to think of something bad. Um. Mr. Harkness with his stupid face. Damn it, I couldn't think of anything right on the spot, so it's so stupid. You get a stupid face, man. Okay. Okay, well, he came to see Lee. Dr. Lee, eh? Well, then I guess you'd have to ask Dr. Lee for more information. Go on up, then. She's probably in the science. <laughs> Keep your nose clean. Oh God! Don't say nose clean. I just I almost sneezed. <laughs> That's not the time. It was one of those ones that you just you feel so bad, like it's just it's just coming on. It's coming on. It's, it's inevitable. It's gonna happen. That sneeze is just gonna come out whether you like it or not. And then all of a sudden it just stops. And now I feel fine. And I'm not. <laughs> Mr. Harkness scared away my sneeze with his dumbass face. <laughs> Professional sneeze whisper. <laughs> what? I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. Is this where the science lab is? Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go dick with some scientists. It's a loading screen, kitty. Wake up so I can pet you. Oh, I need to brush you. You're just like so much fur is coming off of you. Would you quit shedding? Like, and have you ever just thought in life that maybe? I should stop shedding fur. Because it doesn't matter what time of the year it is, you always look like you need to be brushed even after right after I brush you. I don't know how you do it, kitty, but you do. <sighs> what what are you doing? No, oh, that's a hard lock thing. Ooh, something in here. Oh, he just said hello to me. Hi. Who are you? Got any psycho? I don't really use a fix, but I'm broke. I don't know if I have any. I'm the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. Interesting. Oh, why don't you just take them from what? My wife, Cindy. She's always watching the inventory. If I take any, she'll lock me out. Okay. It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. 
for now. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. I don't know. That's weird that like he talks like you know you could get a quest for him and like get him all these drugs, but like he never gives you information. And I I sort of hate characters that are like that you can't really talk too much to. I mean I understand you can't talk to everybody, but you know, I, I hate mostly just characters that they seem like they'll give you a quest and then they don't. Oh. Boobies! I know I'm very mature. Dad ass! Oh, look at her. She'd like be like swinging. She'd be swinging. Look at that. Girl, you walk like that. Why don't you, you, you know, don't be offended that I'm staring at you because, like, I mean, you're doing it to yourself. Swinging your hips like that, girl. What the hell? in here hey dude oh god I hate this guy you know he's just like the ship stoner who are you mr. Lopez mr. Lopez I've never talked to mr. Lopez seriously I've never met mr. Lopez yeah well he's asleep so oh my god everyone's asleep in here except for mr. stone up oh, now he's asleep what time is it did you see a guy walk by like hey Everything looks okay here what what particular are you looking at? Like, me? Because, I don't know. I know I look fabulous, but still. Just can't outdo sugar tits. Just, it's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. What time is it? 2.30 in the morning. Seems like an excellent time to go down and just talk to some people. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop soon. Go do other things. So this is yeah, this is really gonna be a small session. Over this. We don't know about your runaway robot and we don't care. <laughs> uh sniffles. Hi. Hi. Hi wow. Oh wow, look at you. Well she's just staring at me. Look at her. She ain't got nothing to say to me. She's just looking at me. That's weird. You're weird. Yeah, that's right. You walk away. See, she swings her hips too. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I, it's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. Took her like 15 minutes. No shit. What are you doing here? Um, I don't know. Maybe I came here just to see you, because of reasons. Because I don't know. I don't know why I'm here, woman. Eh. Get your titties in a knot, because why are you here? Why are you here? You just you need to know why I'm here. Maybe I just wanted to see the sights. Maybe I wanted to see the sights. Maybe that's why I left the ball. Not because I don't give a damn about my dad. It's because I just want to go look around and stuff. So, so that, you know, Dr. Lee, you go to fucking knotted titties. Why are you here? Okay. Okay, how the fuck do you know who I am? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I am Dr. Madison. Well, yeah, typical. Typical. Science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. Oh. Well, it's your fault somehow. <laughs> Can't try to find dead. No, kitty! Move your butt, kitty. I'll let you out in a minute. You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Oh, that that stings, Miss Doctor Lee. Knotted titties. Oh, that is just bleh. Okay. Um. Do you know where he is, though? My father is no longer here, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't use that tone with me. <laughs> well, I don't know where he is. The last I knew, he was going back to the old lab. Now, will you kindly leave? I have work to do. Well. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told your father. Don't go. Whatever's left there, it isn't worth it anymore. The project was abandoned. We gave up. There's no reason to go back. Yes, there is. Fine. Suit yourself. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here, along the river. <sighs> Thank you. Good luck find. Oh, now you're nice? Good luck finding your father. I thought you said not to go! <sighs> Secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. 
Shiny paint job indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. <laughs> okay, I just can't completely ignore their argument. You know, that guy is just gonna stop you no matter what, that Mr. whatever the fuck his name is. So next time I'm down here, if I am at all, he's just gonna come out and be like, Hey! Okay, well, sadly, I'm sort of run out of time here. I'm gonna try to do some stuff later in the day, but I, I really have to go right now. So, as always, if you like what you see, feel free to like, favorite, comment your opinions in the comment section below, and subscribe and become a penguin today.